Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel Soul Journey. My name is Beck Ahimza and today I wanted to just talk a little bit about something that kind of hit me. Um, the idea of divine being and I on my Instagram like to do this thing where I will post a picture of someone that I found where I really see the divinity within them. Um, if you want to go check those out, they're in like a bunch of different folders called um, We Are God. And um, basically I'll say, you know, divine be being, goddess, God, uh, beautiful being, whatever inspires me in that moment. And oftentimes I think we think of being a being as in like an existing, right? Um, this is an existing consciousness. That's, that's a being. They're alive and they're conscious. But... I was thinking about the idea of divine being as being divine, being in the moment. And a being can be like an aspect, but if you think about it, a being is someone who is being. And that might seem like obvious, but I think we very much walk around not remembering to be just to be and observe and be present and the idea of being a divine being is about being divine and what is divine it's love it's connection it's understanding it's magical it's flowing it's it's life and so when we talk about being a divine being are we engaging in that divinity within ourselves? Are we allowing ourselves to see that and express that in our being? Being with others, uh, being with ourselves. Um, and I mean others as in anything that you see as a reflection of you. So this could be tree beings, this could be animal beings, this could be crystal beings. Whatever that is, are you engaging in being with that being? <laughs> And are you coming together in a state of being together? And also recognizing that the being in front of you is also a being experiencing and observing and perceiving and honoring that reflection and exchange of I am being with you and you are being with me. Um... And just really dropping into that present moment. Um, because I think if we were much more aware of this idea of being, being <laughs> present in the being, we would see life so much differently. We would have so much less attachment to things. We would be so much more in the moment observing. And just... When you really bring your consciousness into this space, when you actually feel your body, you know, feeling your hands, feeling your feet, there's this expansiveness that opens up. It's like you start to observe and feel the air around you and the energy around you and, and you just come into this moment and you are just being. And then if you bring in that divinity or recognize that divinity within you, you are opening up that connection. You are opening, you are expansive, you are love you are loving awareness and it just brings a whole new aspect of being into the moment and the more we do this mindfully on a minute to minute basis our whole world will change because if you have that type of presence with each other being with each other <laughs> um, that energy is going to permeate every experience and people will feel that other beings will feel that and your whole reality is just going to shift into this like open connected piece and even the people who are closed off to that are going to feel it and there's going to be this like either they're going to be a you know there's going to be an aversion to it because they they're not allowing for themselves to 
resonate with that or they will open up because that's like they've been craving that. And so you're either going to have those people very quickly leave your space or there's going to be just this constant beautiful connection with all these different beings as you be <laughs> in your own divinity. And I just feel like it's about coming back to the present, coming back to the being of the moment, being in the moment, and understanding that you as consciousness are being. That's the whole point. The when we have more of a story around it, the more of a story we have around it, the less being we are. It's more like, you know, sending our energy out side of that moment we're just sending it off in these random directions because of want and desire and and those things are all amazing for creating <laughs> <laughs> creating um you know we're intending and we're creating a path to be in but um it's about being in the feeling that you want to continually experience as you move forward. And that being in the moment is what's creating any future potential being. And the more of us who get present with that being in the moment, it's going to just change everything. So, just being, being with. Not trying to get out, not trying to do something different, just like being. And as you get open and expansive to that, everything will just come to you because you're open and expansive and everything will be reflected back to you. And it's just going to feel like that beautiful connected exchange because you're connecting, you're opening. And so everything will mirror that and it, it will create a powerful, powerful shift in your everyday life. And that is pretty freaking magical. Thank you so much for being with me during this exchange. And uh, you are beautiful. And I honor your, whoever you are, uh, whoever is watching this, I honor your being. And thank you for being here. Um, you're amazing. <sighs> Thank you for this beautiful exchange. Uh, if you like this video and want to see more like this in the future, um, definitely hit the like button and hit subscribe. I love connecting with you guys and I love experiencing all of you. You're amazing. And uh, whether we ever meet in person or don't, thank you for whatever this energetic exchange is. It's really beautiful and I honor that. And um, yeah, I'd love to see you again. And if not, so many blessings on your journey. Thank you for being a part of mine for just this very, very brief moment. Um, you are so loved. If you'd like to check out my other social media uh, and check out all the other fun, good stuff I have, that's in the description down below. Uh, I have my Etsy shop where you can get personal readings from me along with other fun, magical soul journey tools. Uh, I have my other social media platforms and I have my Patreon if you'd like to support the creation of this channel and other yummy things. So thank you so, so much for watching. You are beautiful. You are loved. Many blessings and namaste. Don't forget, it is all about the soul journey. Bye.